This video will cover the topic, graphing a parabola of the form y equals x squared plus bx plus c. We will be using the example problem, y equals x squared plus 8x plus 12. What would be our first step? Would we try to find the vertex of our parabola? And if so, how would we accomplish that task? You are correct in that we are first going to find the vertex of our parabola. In order to do so, we are going to use the axis of symmetry to find our vertex's x value. What is the axis of symmetry? And what does the formula for the axis of symmetry look like? The axis of symmetry is the line about which the parabola is symmetric. The point where the axis of symmetry crosses our graph is our vertex. This means that if we find the x value for the axis of symmetry, we can find the x value of our vertex. The axis of symmetry formula is represented as negative b divided by 2a with b equaling our linear term and a equaling our quadratic term. In this case, a would equal 1 and b would equal 8. We insert our terms into the formula, which results in negative 8 divided by 2 times 1. From there, we simplify to receive our answer of negative 4. This means that our x value for our vertex is negative 4. So now that we have our x value, how are we going to find the corresponding y value? We find the y value for our vertex by taking our x value and inserting it into our original equation. This results in y equals negative 4 squared plus 8 times negative 4 plus 12, which, when simplified down, results in our y value of negative 4. This means that our vertex is negative 4 comma negative 4. We have found our vertex, but what steps will we use to graph our parabola? In order to find our graph, we are going to make a table of points that we will use to help plot our graph. We start off by picking two x values to the left of our vertex and two x values to the right of our vertex. Our x values will be negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, and negative 6. From there, we plug our x values into our equation in order to find their corresponding y values. With this process finished, we now have the coordinate points of negative 2, 0, negative 3, negative 3, negative 4, negative 4, negative 5, negative 3, and negative 6, 0. We now place our points into our coordinate plane and then graph our parabola, which results in our final answer. I think I'm starting to understand the topic, but let me summarize just to make sure. We first use the axis of symmetry formula in order to find the x value of our vertex. We then substitute that x value into our original equation, which results in the y value of the vertex. From there, we find four other points that we use with the vertex in order to graph our parabola. Exactly! It seems like you know how to graph a parabola of the form y equals x squared plus bx plus c.